Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your functional safety expert. So today we would like to deal with functional safety concept or FSC in detail for the most likes. Functional safety concept or FSC will have the functional safety requirements which are derived from the safety goals and which also describes the describe the measures to be taken uh, for the implementation of uh, the fun of an element in a functional level to prevent violation of safety goals so this each and every functional safety need to have this below details one is operating conditions fault tolerance time intervals warning and degradation concepts safe states that this is vehicle state safe state item safe state and element safe state and emergency operational intervals functional redundancies driver actions that are necessary to comply with the function with the safety goal uh, if any assumptions are made during hara for the controllability um, determination so how many functional safety requirements to be derived for each safety goal so we should have a minimum of one fsr to be specified for a safety goal but one fsr can cover multiple safety goals and each fsr inherit the highest level highest so from the associated safety goals the fsr are then allocated to the preliminary elements of the item or to other items okay in a nutshell fsc can be derived can be defined in this way so it provides a high level overview of a system based on a hara like what your system is required to do to be in safe state so then identify what part of the system will need to be adjusted to take into consideration the new functionality in part 9 of functional safety uh, standard so we will have sl decomposition so which allows distributing the sl requirements over several items or elements to reduce implementation costs so which are higher for higher sls and to create redundancy sl decompositions of safety requirements is allowed if both resulting requirements independently and diversely fulfill the original safety requirement so requirements where decomposition can applied must keep the original sl in brackets and to indicate the original sl and to indicate the decomposition took place so you can see the example in the next slide so the decomposition can be applied to the functional safety requirement on a functional level during allocation of the fsr to elements or other items so here you can see the sample so this one safety goal is there which is represented as sg1 which has an sl level c okay in that like we have extracted four different functional safety requirements or fsr so like fsr 1 1a is 1a and fsr 1 2a are for uh, element 1 fsr 1 1b fsr 1 2b are for the element 2 so sl b is the sl level of this particular element but which is extracted from slc slc item so in brackets we have represented c here okay and then uh, if you look at fsr 1 2a sl b which is the which is extracted from the element of uh, which is extracted from the item which uh, of uh, c sl so that is the reason we have mentioned c inside brackets so the same way like fsr1 1b is sla which is extracted from um, slc item and slc safety goal and uh, fsr1 2b is extracted from slc safety goal uh, and this current fsrs sl is a prerequisite for the sl decomposition is to establish and maintain independence between the resulting requirements so, uh, that means like we need to have a diverse implementation of freedom from common cause of failures uh, in in general by the use of uh, different and separate sensors so data processing using diverse algorithms or separate ic's physical separation of systems to mitigate power supply and emi emf problems and uh, 
or design and development of redundant systems by separate teams or suppliers. So independence must be proven by dependent failure analysis, that is DFA. The final step to FSC or the phase, this complete FSC phase concept phase is, is a verification of the developed functional safety concept or the developed FSC to determine its compliance with the defined safety rules and its ability to mitigate or avoid the hazards found by the HARA. So hope you got the concept of functional safety concept and functional safety requirement which are extracted from the safety goals. So if you like this concept, click on the like button. If you want for the more automotive videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.